everybody welcome back so i'll be pulling over um, a canvas that didn't work out for me so i can pull straight on top of it no problem at all it is i believe a 25 by 40 centimeters that's a deep edge um, canvas and i'm gonna have another go with my split cup so five compartments so i mixed up some kind of rainbowish colors so got a bit of gold got some green some phthalo blue some pink some red and uh, the navy there is actually the same as this one it's just basically thinned out so i can put it as a base on the canvas so that the rest of the paint can and i've got some white of course so i better start layering my cups or oh, my cup i mean they are five compartment for me that's like five cups but so last time i just put one color per compartment i'm gonna try to actually vary a little bit and add two colors in each compartment kind of alternate them i'm not sure in which order i will put them in it may be very random and it may depend on how much paint i've got on each side so bear with me on this so i will i might start with some white in the middle just a little bit but halfway that's not really halfway is it i can't really see um let's put some gold in the middle I might actually try to do three colours. I'm sure I can do this, so it will end up really random, I think. But I'm going to give it a try, see what works. Let's put some of the navy blue. So I made that one just by mixing some phthalo blue and some black. Uh, let's try some green there. Put a touch of white on top. Oh, nearly too full. And let's put some red in the middle one there. And I'm going to put some white next to it. bottom of this one let's put some of that green oops oh, I've got to be careful still I don't want to put red and green next to one another because I don't want some sort of brownish or baby poo colour so I'm going to put some gold next to the green I'm just trying to finish I'll just scrape because I've got a tiny bit left but not enough for another layer somewhere else so I might as well finish it in this compartment I'm trying to basically be on target but it's hard work uh, let's put some red at the bottom of this one I can't remember where I put it before so white put some green I've got a tiny bit of green that should be just working fine this green when I'm at it I've got quite a bit of 
not quite a bit a little bit of space left on that blue so i'm just going to finish my green on there as well it's very very random some of the colors might not work at all next to one another but we're trying Okay, that is one very full cup. I'll move my corners out of the way. So let me move my cup that is now layered there. I'm going to put this there and I will create a base. So it's the same navy blue that I created. I just added a good splat of water in it to make it thinner. I just want to make sure that the paint basically glides nicely on the top of this one. Okay. So I might just well use this to spread it. Should we use a spatula or a pellet knife? But I can get one out. be plenty of paint to run over the sides okay let me just wipe my hands just for a second because i will have a very very um blue hands smooth hands right okay it's wiped clean Okay, so I spread the paint everywhere, I've just wiped my hands, my cup is ready. So because it's a rectangle shape, I may start one side and work my way there. Instead of tilting the canvas as in a, a waterfall pour, I will move uh, myself and I see, because I'm still not confident with how much paint I've got in there. I will see what effects I get, so I better start one end. Let's give it a good start. Trying different effects, different directions. Maybe I will need to finish around here. That's where I've got the least paint. The red has really, really taken over. Basically, it's red and green. At the moment, I've lost my pink. I cannot see it anywhere. I'm just looking, it's still quite a bit of white in the middle compartment, but that will have to do. Okay, very, very random. Let's stretch and see what it looks like. And if necessary, I'll just do a swipe. You know, we are not um, 
really bound by any rules there. Ourselves. Okay, let's see. So I can hold the push pins in these. Just going to go straight over, straight over. Turn it towards you. the brainy kind of looking effects are uh, stretch out look a bit better so that's a nice uh, nice touch okay let me just check has it gone over the edge yes it has now over the edge on this side that side yes let's have a look to there, see what we can do to stretch. Don't want to overstretch it and just turn it around. Some sort of gold nuggets popping up on the top in the blue. I do have white pearls in the middle of the. Oh red pearls in the middle of the white even so that is interesting let me just quickly scoop underneath but the paint stops dripping and dragging basically what's on top of it on top of the canvas let me just turn it around Adjusting this corner, and that corner is fine. Well, that is different. Let me just wipe my hands. And I'm going to give it a quick torch. So I still need to wipe my hands. I'm actually covered. That's it. Okay, let's give it a torch. try to bring this half further down and maybe get rid of this couple of inches at the bottom there I'm not sure if I've got enough paint left for this but I'm just going to try anyway so let me just turn it around so you can see okay while you run oh yeah that is good running evenly just going to hold because I start to lose a little bit of control Remove this red corner there and bring it back. I want to keep some of that red though, even if um, so 
over, you know, quite overpowering and taken quite a lot of the canvas over. That's where by tilting you can manipulate your composition and see what what can be created. Right, I think I am happy oops with this. Right, now that's the right way round with the right amount of paint. I don't think you can really see clearly but the gold which is just a um what was it that was a dado around there the gold in it color so it's more kind of a a nochre gold and a pure gold obviously it's creating let me just wipe my hands all these pebbles there i've got pebbles there but every single line is actually gold there in between the reds and the blue there you've got gold and white between the blue so that is really really nice i'm really pleased with this and i'm glad i got rid of um, a lot of the red because that was a bit too much for my liking but i'm really pleased with that let me give it one final torch and i will bring you in for a close-up <laughs> something because I've got a tiny bit of red there I've just dropped a tiny bit of blue just where it's only red on this edge and I can't have that I'm just trying to see if I made a boo-boo somewhere else that looks okay there okay there I think we are good to go right let me bring you much close right so the color on the screen is not true to the color on the canvas that looks very orange but actually it's a very deep red okay there's not much i can do about this um so you can see the gold if i move up some of the gold mixed with the green and it's very interesting because on screen it looks very green but actually in, re in real life it's more gold so there's tiny flickering effects in the blue also are coming up that's thanks to the torching i do like this element on the top right hand side there that brings movement and you know i think it's interesting definitely not what i usually do but I'm quite pleased with it so I need to I think work out how to use my split cup better maybe put less paint in there or play with it with a much larger canvas and even maybe stick it on the spinner and see what I can do um, to keep that nice circle effect so all more to play for so thank you ever so much for watching uh, you stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.